Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. That, as you can see, is a Maserati, and that's got the last of the Maserati V8 engines in it, because that engine is going to be discontinued. But a surprising fact about that is the sound of the Maserati V8 is quite appreciated by women, but it's not going to be made anymore, so ladies will just have to do without the sound that they like. Anyway... As you know, there's been a lot of YouTube videos about single mothers. There is women complaining on TikTok that are single mothers and saying that guys don't want to date them. So, on that basis, I've been having a look around to see where I could find. I found a few interesting things. The first of it is this. As you can see, it's a site called The Life of a Single Mom. Uh, apparently, single mothers in America have got their own uh, American industry working with them, and this is just one of them. It's uh, got some interesting facts. If you drop down, it says one out of every four parents living in America is unmarried, fewer than one in every ten just 50 years ago. Now, 50 years ago was 1964. Now, guess what happened in 1963? Second wave feminism kicked off in 1963. So, second wave feminism, I should say, has a direct effect on this. And you drop down, one in every five children in America is living with a single mom. It's a 300% rise in single parents since 1960 when feminine when second wave feminism kicked off this is the result and if you drop down and those of you in america you pick whatever state you're in and this will give you an indication of the percentage of unmarried mothers in that particular state the louisiana which is this one and Mississippi, which is right next door to it, this one is the ground zero of America's unmarried mothers. In other words, this is America's mega trouble spot for single parents. It says, in Louisiana, the high percentage of single mother-led households more than any other state. And Mississippi has the highest percentage of children born to unmarried mothers in any other state and if you drop down 70% of children live in single parents household worldwide but Britain here leads the world is 26% something depressing for me as this is my home rule Britannia not and then we have uh, Lithuania and then America shares the third position with Latvia and Denmark. But 86% of single parents live with mothers in America. That's 22 million children, 19 million under 18 living with a single mother. Uh, 3 million children live with this, a pet, their father in America. Now the question is, are these three million children living with their father doing better than the 19 million that living with their mother? You tell me. Now, the issues for single mothers, this bit is the one which stands out. Demographics. About half of single moms have never been married. In other words, they got knocked up before they got a ring on the finger. And then we have employment, income, Poverty, hardship, health care, education, and child care. In some states, the, the cost is more than half of her income annually. Well, if she'd got married, late, saved herself, and then chose a good man, she wouldn't be in this category. Now, this is the cost cutting of where the income goes. Miscellaneous, food, housing, transport, Healthcare, clothing, and childcare education. Now, this bit stood out to me. 
the median income for families led by a single mother was $35,400 per year. Now, let's see what that in pounds. $35,400. Now, it's $1.27 to the pound. £27,874 per year. Now divide that by 52. That's £536 and threepence per week. That is quite a decent wage here. I would be quite happy to live on that. My income's about 19000 knocking on the door of $20,000 per year. Yeah, I can live quite healthily, but then there's just me here, so... Of course, if there was children, that would be different. But then again, the social programs in my country, like there is in America. And then we have international single mom figures. Obama, Phelps, he's Australian. Kevin Durant, never heard of him. So, and women... Celine Dillon, Maya, Angelo, and then more yada yada about it. And now, if you drop down a uh, thing of megas, worldwide 70%, countries with a high percentage of children living single mothers are here Louisiana, li sorry, Lithuania, America, Latvia, Denmark, and States, single fathers, uh, 22 million, 3 million live with their dads, single mom's demographic, here we go. Currently about half the women are single mothers are never married at all, and of the other half, 17% are separated, 4% are widowed, the widowed women get a free pass, it's not their fault. And 29% are divorced. And it says, so, so while some feel that the escalating divorce rate in our country is a primary cause of single motherhood, that is not necessarily the case. Of course not. The case is women going with guys not to any protection and getting knocked up. And then the guy clears off. It is a contributing factor, no doubt, but there is a general trend towards single motherhood that has its roots in other socialite beliefs and values as well, like second wave feminism. I don't need no men. And it says, the unmarried of the post of divorce or widow single mother stereotype is often associated with teen moms or women in their early 20s, in other words, promiscuous young women, who became pregnant unexpectedly, she didn't take birth control, she didn't understand the risks, but statistics indicate otherwise. Well, the statistics of single mothers show that that, that is the reason, and this is just a cover story. Only 60% of single moms are younger than 40 years of age, which supports the idea that more women are having children later in life without unnecessarily being married no the having children without being married that in other words the sleeping around riding the cock carousel it's also interesting to note half a single mothers have only one child 30 percent of two and 20 percent of three or more probably different baby daddies and then it seems to go hand in hand with the general trend swap Towards smaller families, the birth rate of America has decreased in the last 30 years. Well, that's a moot point, but anyway. That's the life of a single mum. They also have their own university. If you click on that, you get this. And this is the university. In other words, it's like a, snort, a Zoom meeting. So if you click on the course catalogue, it's dropped down. And these are the courses for this single mom university. Helping your child survive, adult children 101, single parenting 101. 
the power of mum's attitude, the power of mum's example, the power of mum's word, self-respect versus self-esteem, coach, cheerleader, repetition versus discipline. If she was married with her husband, she wouldn't need this bit because she'd be a two-parent family in a marriage. And the daddy gap on protecting raising girls alone. Tell me that's a plan for us, raising girls alone. And then the same for raising boys. But anyway, women who are single mothers have their own university in America to attend to, even though it's not really a proper university. It's more a group session so they can share stories like this lot. Now, those two don't have a date on them, but I found this at the Pew Research Centre. This was done on March 11th, 2022. As you can see, raising share of Americans see women raising children on their own. Cohabiting is bad for society. No shit, Sherlock. Now, it says nearly half of Americans now say single women raising children on their own is bad for, for society. This... October 2018, October 2021. As you can see, it's a 4% change in just uh, 18, in four years. The share of births of unmarried women has remained relatively stable over the past decade after increasing steadily from 1980 to around 2009. So, 64, second wave feminism. Girls which were toddlers in 1964 were becoming fertile and teenage and young adult years around 1980. So that's probably why. In 2020 the share was 41%, about double the percentage from 40 years ago. Views on single motherhood differ somewhat by race and ethnicity. And then you should drop down Older adults are more likely than young adults to say single motherhood is bad for, for society, of course. We've been around a bit longer. We've got more world experience. And men, 59%. Women, 37%. And then you go to various races. White, black, more even Stevens, Hispanic and Asian, more or less. Uh, men agreeing across the whole spectrum. Then we have age group, 18 to 29, 42%, says it's bad, 30 to 49%, 50 to 64, 65%. And you notice as the age grows up, so the percentage grows up. And then we got the American politics slant. Republicans, 62%, says it's bad. But only 36% of Democrats say it's bad. You notice the difference in the political divide. Now if you drop down, views on cohabitation. Remember the MGTOW philosophy. Don't marry, don't cohabit, and don't get a woman pregnant. Age, race and ethnicity, all adults. 26% of men, or only 23% of women. Now, in races, white, 25%. Black men, 32%. Once again, African Americans leading the way. Hispanic, 17%. And Asians, 24%. Then we get the age group, 18 to 29. Only 13% say it's good to cohabit. That's because the guys, they want to get the leg over. And 28% of women say it's good. Now the women want to get the access to the guy's resources, so of course they're going to live with him, probably get knocked up, and then they'll get have a reason to latch on to what he's got. Now we got 30 to 13, 49-year-old guys, 22%. You notice there's a difference in percentage going up, and 16% say it's a good one. They've not learnt yet. Then we get the guys that have been burnt in the divorce courts. As you see in the comments section on YouTube videos about MGTOW. 
50 to 64 year olds 27 percent or only eight percent say that it's good and then we get the guys in my age group 35 percent and only six percent is good once again see the rise in percentage the older a guy gets and then we get to the american political slant again republicans 38 percent say it's bad six percent say it's good but democrats 13 percent say it's bad and 20 percent say it's good going back to this this group 59 percent doesn't make a difference the guys in this group have haven't learned the lesson the hard way so we have to get by the MGTOW philosophy in these videos from me and all the others to get this group into this and the same with this group into this this group should know better because they're 50 to 64 year olds and they haven't been burnt yet in a female friendly family courts and then we have more yada yada about it and that's that article now I also found this Trump this was done as I said March 11th 2022 jump forward to January 11th 2024 about two years later single parents households by the state the single parents households are still a minority in the US households with children however the share of households with children headed by a single parent rather than a married or unmarried couple vary from state to state apparently Wisconsin has the 25th highest percentage of single parent households across America in the districts of Columbia so once again like where is it that on that if you drop down to whatever state you're in you'll see the percentage there's Wisconsin more or less halfway house at 20.9 percent so if you drop down to this where is it where is it where is it where is it there we go there's Wisconsin there's 101,683 single the women with the single parents in Wisconsin but the 35,110 single guys raising their children in Wisconsin and it's their 20.9 percent but the one with the most people single parents that is is California 601,899 the single parent women in California but 169,901 1, single men in Amer in California raising their children but look at the number of women single parents so the baby mamas six, over 600,000 and how many of them are dating or complaining on TikTok the there is Louisiana 123,860 the single parents women and 23,571 Louisiana men raising their children now California I have found this this is the official government the website of the Californian government it's depressing reading US single parents households this must be for California 18.4% of all births in America in 1980 were to unmarried women in 2008 40.6% of all births in America were to unmarried women in 1960 just 5 million children under 18 lived with their mother by 1980 that number had more than doubled remember second wave feminine kicked off in 1963 so you could say that is the result of second wave feminism spreading throughout American society and 25 million children are growing up without fathers in their home that's 40% of all children in America 
as reported the Centre for Children and Families in the American government. 40% of all live births in America are to single mothers. The Chad's offspring in there. 90% of all welfare recipients are to single mothers. That's the result of women sleeping around. And 17% of, of gang members, high school dropouts, teen suicides, that's sad, teen pregnancies and teen substance abuses, that's also sad, come from single mother homes. And then we get more depressing things, 63% of suicides nationwide are from individuals from single parent families. 75% of children in chemical dependency, that's drugs. Hospitals from single parent families, more than half of all the youth incarnated in American prisons live with one parent families as a child. And then we got more depressing stuff. I'm not going through that. But anyway, as you can see, it's a nationwide problem. That's why so many single women are complaining on TikTok that no guy wants to date them because what guy wants to take on another man's problems? Especially if the man is a Louisianan or a Mississippian. Now, this is also coming into the American music scene because I found this. It's an American singer called Brandon Jamal and you might have heard the song Now You're a Single Mom. If you drop down to the lyrics you let him have it raw you know the way she didn't use contraception you didn't have a have second thoughts you more wanted to get with a Chad or Tyrone the bad boys now you're a single mom. You let him have it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. You said, I'm going to have this kid. Don't care if he's here or not. Now you're a single mom. And then, rest of the lyrics. I'll put this, naturally put this bill to the right, not below, because YouTube is still like this. But this is the official site for that song. If you drop down, there's Mr. Jamal. And this guy here is Mr. LeBoyd. And he thinks it's funny because he's seen, as an African-American, what's happening in the African-American community with lots and lots of single mothers. MGTOW voice, I was so disillusioned until I hit until I hit by divorce, MGTOW voice, and we have women complain on TikTok that they've made the wrong decision and they're regretting it. And for the song, this song brings all colour men together, which is true. So, here we have a problem in America, single parents, whoops, Come on, come on. All across America, lots of single mothers. But all across America, there's lots and lots of MGTOW men. Feminism is the major cause of a problem. And MGTOW with men not borrowing to go with women and looking after themselves is a, you could say, the cure. It'll take a while, but remember, 20, 30... 52% uh, of American women being single and childless and you could slowly see these figures drop down as these women don't have any more children and guys don't bother having children and this percentage of unmarried mothers could start going down instead of being in the figures like this. Anyway, I think I'm well over the 20 minute now, probably getting on to 30 minutes, so I'll leave it at that. All right, people, you know the routine, like, dislike, comment, subscribe, it's completely up to you. But Jamal here, he's got the message and he's doing it what he can to spread the message. 
like all these other MGTOW voices and other MGTOW channels are doing it and that includes me right that's it for this one you, till next Monday bye bye